Welcome to our story, and a tragic story it is. The story starts in the office of local doctor, Dr. Bottolotto. I don't quite understand what you're saying. Uh, well, it's a little bit like this, you see. We uh, had a bit of a mix-up in the operating theater. See, your son, yeah, he was originally in for acne therapy because he has pimples, you know, a lot of pimples because he's a teenager and that's what teenagers do. And then the mix-up, we mixed him up with a 90-year-old lady. Her name is Mrs. Wutong, that's with a double T. Uh, uh, she had a lot of wrinkles. And your son had a lot of pimples, and you know, pimples, wrinkles, they rhyme, kind of. And anyway, we got mixed up. So we injected your son with a bit of Botox. Speak English, man. I don't understand your mumbo jumbo freaky medical Dutch. Okay, I'll put this in a latent term. A latent term? What is a latent term? Do you know what a latent term is? I don't! Okay, well, let me put this straight. We injected your son with a thousand units of Botox. That's like way too many in your terms, uh, but now his face has swelled up and now it looks like an ass. An ass? You know, a butt, a bottom, a gluteus maximus, a buttocks. What? I don't know. Look at your son, Mr. Johnson! <laughs> hey, Doc, is the pimples gone? <laughs> yeah. Timmy's dad decided not to tell Timmy about his horrible disconfiguration. He decided it was better to let Timmy discover this for himself. Huh? What the hell? The? Dad? What's wrong with my face? What? Oh, you had your pimples removed. My pimples removed? Dad? What's wrong? It looks like I got an ass on my face. Oh, that's just swelling. That'll go down three to five years. Three to five years with a dying ass on my face? Everyone's gonna laugh at me. I can't go to school like this. I gotta stay home. You're going to school. You're not staying here with me. What? Well, I can't go. Everyone's gonna be fun at me. You put a hat on. I got a hat on. It still looks like I got an ass on my face. I don't care. You're going to school. Dad, I can't go to school. Go to school. Oh, man. After some kicking, screaming, and bribes, Timmy headed off to school. Aw, hopefully this won't be so bad, I could be like, fuck guy, or super ass. Aw, the ass in there! Hey, Doug! Hey, Timmy! I'm Timmy! Back in the house! How you going? Jesus, we love you. Ew! <laughs> Timmy Johnson, detention! Aw, oh, man. I must be a real badass. Mrs. Harrymore happened to be walking down the hall. She also happens to be the most horrible person to walk the earth since Hitler. Welcome to detention. We're learning about asteroids today. Does anyone know when Halley's Comet first passed the Earth? Uh, that would have been about the same time that... Timmy! You're talking out your ass. Yes? Well, thank you for that vital piece of information. You need a teaching degree to tell me that? That's it! Timmy Johnson, you're expelled! Aw, oh, man! Tables are for glasses, not for asses. Huh? Now get out! Get out of the classroom! Go! After being expelled, Timmy made his way home, after dodging some rocks hurled at his direction by a few rowdy toddlers. Oh, da, I had a bad day. All those kids at school made fun of me. What is that sound? Because my head looks like an ass. Hmm, yeah, that could be a problem. You think? Look, son, I know, it must be hard at school every day, just being the butt of every joke. 
ha, ha, but I made it funny, funny. Get it, but your hands are but, and <laughs> mm. I really try to be a loving father. Ah, oh, Dad. <laughs> okay, get out. Okay. Oh, by the way, son, I uh, signed you up for a commercial. A commercial on TV. Go. And action. The new Mac 5 from Gillette. Glides across your face, giving you the smoothest shave you've ever had. But don't take our word for it. Take Timmy's. It's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Okay, cut. That's a wrap. God, that we're gonna be rich. I'm on TV.